Hello and welcome to the calculator guide video on the SD button. We're going to use the SD button to change between a fraction and a decimal. Let's input the fraction using the fraction button. We're going to use the example of one tenth. You can use the replay button to navigate around your calculator screen. Press equals and that should enter one tenth onto the answer line. Then use the SD button to change between one tenth and 0.1. We can then press it again to change back. Let's just try that again, this time with one third. Input one third using the fraction button and press equals. Then use the SD button. This time we have 0.3 with a little dot on the top. This indicates that is 0.3 recurring. We can press the SD button again to get the full calculated display of this. And then once more we can change back to the exact answer of one third. I sometimes get asked the question, why is it called the SD button and not the FD button? For fractions to decimals. Well that's because you can change thirds to decimals as well. So let's try that now. Use the square root button here and input 5, so we want to find the square root of 5. If we press equals, it should give us the exact answer. A third form square root 5. And if we press the SD button, then that changes it to a decimal approximation of square root 5. We can change between the two. Let's just try that again. This time we'll use the square root button and 20. If we press equals, then the calculator automatically gives a simplified third. 2 square root 5. And we can use the SD button to change between that and a decimal approximation. And then back to 2 root 5. We can also use the SD button to help us answer a question such as this. What is the circumference of this circle? with diameter of six centimeters. That we need to input six, and then using the formula the circumference equals pi times diameter, we want to input a pi button. We can use that with shift and then the pi button. Press equals to get six pi on your answer line. This is an exact answer. If we want a decimal approximation, then we can press the SD button, and that should change that to here. And we can use as many digits as required. So you might want to give a rounded answer of 18.8 centimetres. Thank you for watching. See you on the next video from The Calculating.